what happens to your body when you eat too much Himalayan pink salt? Imagine standing in your kitchen, holding a small glass jar filled with shimmering pink crystals. They look natural, earthy, almost magical, no wonder Himalayan pink salt is often marketed as a healthier, more pure alternative to regular white table salt. Its rosy color, drawn from trace amounts of iron oxide, gives it an exotic appeal. Advertisements highlight minerals like calcium, potassium, magnesium, and iron, suggesting benefits far beyond ordinary salt. But here's the scientific truth, no matter the color or origin, Himalayan pink salt is still 98-99% to sodium chloride, just like table salt. Those extra minerals exist in such tiny amounts that you'd need to consume 6 teaspoons or more every day to get any meaningful nutritional boost, by which point, you would have dangerously overshot safe sodium limits. To put it into perspective, just one quarter teaspoon of pink salt contains about 420 milligrams of sodium, not much less than the 582 milligrams in iodized table salt. The US dietary guidelines recommend no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day, about one teaspoon of salt. The American Heart Association advises an ideal limit of 1,500 milligrams per day, especially for people with high blood pressure or heart risk. Yet, the average American consumes 3,400 milligrams daily, mostly hidden in processed foods rather than added salt at the table. Unlike iodized salt, Himalayan pink salt is not fortified with iodine, an essential nutrient for thyroid health. And because it is minimally processed, it may also contain non-nutritive trace elements, including heavy metals in some samples. So while pink salt may look beautiful and carry a sense of natural luxury, your body doesn't treat it as special. It reacts in the same way it does to any salt, struggling under the burden of excess sodium. Short-term effects on the body. Consuming too much Himalayan pink salt can lead to immediate physiological responses as the body attempts to maintain balance. Water retention and bloating, excess sodium causes the body to hold onto water to dilute it, leading to fluid retention in the digestive system and tissues. This can result in bloating, discomfort, and swelling, edema, in areas like the face, hands, feet, and ankles. People on high-fiber diets may experience this more intensely. A study from the DASH sodium trial linked high sodium intake to increased bloating. Electrolyte imbalance. Sodium disrupts the balance of electrolytes like potassium and magnesium, which are crucial for nerve function, muscle contraction, and metabolism. Symptoms may include weakness, fatigue, nausea, irregular heartbeat, and confusion. Increased thirst and fluid intake. To counteract high sodium, the body signals for more water leading to heightened thirst and potentially loose stools or other digestive changes. In animal studies, sub-maximal doses of pink salt, 0.8 g-kg daily, led to significant increases in food and water consumption, with minor changes in body weight and blood sugar, but no major toxicity. Long-term health risks Eating too much Himalayan pink salt isn't just about waking up bloated or thirsty, it sets the stage for serious, long-term health problems. Scientists have found that pink salt carries the same risks as ordinary table salt, because its sodium content is nearly identical. In fact, a crossover study in hypertensive adults showed no difference in blood pressure or urinary sodium whether they consumed pink salt or regular salt. The danger lies not in the color of the crystal, but in the sheer amount of sodium it delivers. Let's look at what happens when excess sodium becomes part of your everyday life. High blood pressure, hypertension the silent climb. Imagine your heart as a tire pump, pushing blood through a network of flexible hoses, your arteries. Now, each time you overload on sodium, more water is pulled into your bloodstream, expanding the volume that your heart must push. At first, the hoses stretch. But over years, they stiffen, and the pump has to work harder and harder. This is hypertension, often called the silent killer because you don't feel it happening until it's advanced. Nearly half of U.S. adults already live with high blood pressure, and excess sodium is one of the biggest contributors. For those who are salt-sensitive, the effect is even more dramatic, their blood pressure spikes noticeably after salty meals. Left unchecked, this extra pressure damages vessel walls, increases the risk of heart attack, stroke, and heart failure, and becomes a ticking time bomb for the cardiovascular system. Kidney problems, the overworked filters. 
Your kidneys are like two sophisticated filters, each about the size of a fist, working 24-7 to keep your blood clean. Every gram of sodium you eat becomes their responsibility. With chronic overconsumption, they're forced into overdrive, trying to flush out the excess while still balancing other vital minerals. But here's the problem, high sodium intake disrupts the sodium-potassium balance, essential for kidney function. Over time, the constant strain can lead to chronic kidney disease, CKD. For someone already struggling with CKD, too much salt makes symptoms worse, fluid starts building up around the heart or lungs, ankles swell painfully, and fatigue deepens. It's like forcing a coffee filter to strain gallons of water every day, it eventually breaks down. Weakened bones and osteoporosis, the silent leak. Most people think of salt as a heart risk, but few realize it can quietly weaken your skeleton. Every time you consume too much sodium, your kidneys expel not just salt, but also calcium, the mineral your bones depend on for strength. Imagine your bones as a savings account for calcium. With each high salt day, you make a small withdrawal. It doesn't matter for one day, but year after year, the account runs dangerously low. Over time, bones become porous and fragile, increasing the risk of fractures. A 2022 study confirmed this link, showing that high dietary sodium was associated with a greater risk of osteoporosis. In other words, too much pink salt today could mean brittle bones and broken hips tomorrow. Iodine deficiency, the thyroid struggle. Unlike iodized table salt, Himalayan pink salt usually does not contain added iodine. And iodine is essential, it fuels the thyroid gland, which controls metabolism, energy, and growth. Without iodine, the thyroid can swell, forming a lump in the neck called a goiter. Even worse, a deficiency can lead to hypothyroidism, leaving you tired, gaining weight easily, and feeling mentally foggy. For pregnant women, the risk is even more serious. Insufficient iodine can affect a baby's brain development. So while pink salt may look natural, relying on it exclusively strips your diet of a nutrient that table salt was fortified to provide for a reason. Increased cancer risk, the stomach's vulnerability. Your stomach lining is sensitive. High sodium intake irritates it and creates a favorable environment for Helicobacter pylori, a bacteria strongly linked to ulcers and gastric cancer. Over decades, a high-salt diet can lead to lasting damage, raising the risk of stomach cancer. Epidemiological studies around the world, from Japan to Europe, have consistently found higher cancer rates in populations that consume more salt-preserved foods. Pink salt doesn't escape this rule, it's the sodium, not the color, that harms. Metabolic issues, hidden strain on the body. Some studies suggest that excess salt intake may play a role in broader metabolic issues. High-sodium diets have been linked to weight gain, insulin resistance, and hyperglycemia, although research is still evolving. In animal studies, Himalayan pink salt led to increased food and water consumption, hinting at how sodium might influence appetite and metabolism. While not as conclusive as the heart and kidney data, these findings raise concern that too much salt could affect more than just blood pressure. Exposure to contaminants, the dark side of natural. Because Himalayan pink salt is minimally processed, it sometimes carries more than just sodium and trace minerals. Independent testing in Australia found samples containing heavy metals like lead, aluminum, and mercury. One darker variety even exceeded national safety limits for lead. The risk isn't universal, most samples are safe, but it shows that natural does not always mean harmless. The very impurities that give some pink salts their unique color may also carry contaminants best avoided. Overconsumption of Himalayan pink salt may start with harmless puffiness and thirst, but over the years it puts your body on a dangerous path, toward hypertension, kidney disease, weak bones, thyroid disorders, stomach cancer, and even toxic metal exposure. The lesson is clear, the pink glow of these crystals may look special, but inside your body, the risks are exactly the same, or even greater, than ordinary salt. Research Evidence and Considerations a 2020 analysis of pink salts in Australia revealed wide variations in mineral content, with some samples high in non-nutritive minerals posing health risks if overconsumed. A crossover study on hypertensive women found no differences in blood pressure or urinary sodium between Himalayan and table salt. Animal research indicates pink salt increases intake but causes fewer metabolic disruptions than MSG. 
factors like individual salt sensitivity, existing conditions, e.g., hypertension, kidney disease, and overall diet influence risks. Pink salt tricks for weight loss can be dangerous, causing dehydration and electrolyte issues. Recommendations To avoid risks, stick to recommended sodium limits and choose iodized salts if needed. Monitor intake from all sources, including processed foods. Consult a healthcare provider for personalized advice, especially with conditions like hypertension or kidney issues. Conclusion While Himalayan pink salt offers no proven advantages over table salt and shares the same sodium-related dangers, excessive consumption can lead to immediate discomfort and long-term health issues like hypertension, kidney damage, and bone loss. Research emphasizes moderation, as benefits from its minerals are negligible without risking sodium overload.